everybody, it's me, Donna. <clears throat> Sorry. It's me, Donna. Um, the, okay, I have a really um, video that I want to share with you guys today. Um, the reason why, I, and, and it's, it's important, um, my mom, she died like seven years ago, and she tried, uh, she had adopted out a child when she was like 16 years old. She was very young, and um, she was a young girl, and she adopted out her babies. Her baby it wasn't two; it was this one, and um, he was a boy. And um, it was down in um, Baltimore, a um, little Italy. And um, this just tears me up. But anyway. Um, I tried to find him before. We tried to find him in 2007, and he would be old. He wouldn't be young. I mean, my brother would be like 66, but um, so he wouldn't be young. My brother that didn't get adopted, and I'm I'm old. So, but um, yeah. So my so this is really sad. This is really sad. So we tried to find him in 2007. We looked for him, we, and we heard that the courthouse had gotten burnt down, and all the records were gone, and we filled out a paper, and we sent it off to Social Services Welfare Department, and that's what they told us, that the birth records got burnt up. And we tried the registry, and I did talk to a lady on the registry, and she said she would charge us a bunch of money if we tried to look for her. But I figured that this would be a better way. My mom said that she had had him for like a year. or And she was trying to get her sister to help her or her dad to help her. To, so she could keep him. But um, through, she was very young and um, no, nobody really wanted to help her. And she wanted to keep him but she couldn't. And um, my mom, oh man. This is, and then we tried, I tried when she was sick and she was dying too, I tried to find him. But I feel like he could be dead too and I mean he's old so he couldn't, he might not even be alive. And another thing is he might not even know that he's adopted. Which is like really strange. I mean, not strange because of the story that she told me about the place that she was staying at. That those people could have adopted him, and he wouldn't. Have, he wouldn't have known that he was adopted. And um, the lady, the lady said from the people, the lady that I talked to on the register, she said that they pretty much do not change the birth date. I don't know if that's true or not, but, um, my brother, yeah, so that would be, he would only be a half-brother. He wouldn't be a full brother. He would just be a half-brother. And she also said something about getting DNA done, that I would get my DNA done, and then, um, I'm thinking about that. I think that I might do that. I don't know yet for sure. Do my DNA and I did watch some videos on um, people finding their, um, Bajo, you know, their their family that got adopted out and stuff. And then finding their mothers and stuff like that. And I know my mom would still like to know. I mean, I would like to know because it would be really, it would be good. And um, hopefully, but I, I don't know. He could be dead or he could not know that he's adopted and maybe I'll never find him. But, um. I figured like this is a very important video. Um, um, you know, some of the people in my family might not like it, but some of them might, you know, because, you know, it's stressful. I mean, it's not stressful. It's just like, you know, you always wonder what happened to him. How's he doing? Is he a big wig? Is he, is he happy? Is he like my brother, brother, like, have carpenter skills or whatever is he an artist what is he like you know so yes and hopefully he had a really good i'm he probably had a very good life so but um yeah it would be nice to know 
That would be nice to know. But he was born down in Baltimore in the 19, late 1940s. So, um, so I just figured I would put this video out there. I mean, uh, I know a lot of people are searching for their biological children and the children are searching for their biological parent. I mean, and I feel like everybody should know who their biological parent is, even if they are adopted. I don't think it's fair that people don't tell people that they were adopted. You know, they just keep it a secret. Because what if you get, when you get old, you can have bad health problems and you might need something from one of your family members and then you don't know it and, uh, or you could just <clears throat> need to experience um, encouragement and stuff too. Extra family is never bad. It's never bad. So, um, yes. So most definitely, and my mom did want to know, and she wrote him a letter, but it's out in the garage, the letter that she wrote to him and stuff. Um, she had a lady write it for her because she was, she, she was sick and she was dying and stuff, but, I mean, and we did try to find him, and and she didn't know who his father was and stuff, so that's good, you know. So there, the pieces of the puzzle are together. Is this that, I mean, some of the pieces of the puzzle are together, but not all of them, so. But anyway, um, it, would, it would be really nice to know, you know, and hopefully he would want to know. Um, but he might not even know that he's adopted, so. Um, yeah, so, um, I just want to let you know, and, um, uh, maybe you can share my video, or let other people know, and, uh, stuff, and, um, uh, yes, my mom did adopt out a baby when she was very young, and, you know, she, she loved him, and she cared for him, and stuff like that, but, at least she didn't have no abortion, she did, she did have a, you know, she adopted him out, you know. Back then, a lot of people, some people did have abortions, but not very many, but she adopted him out, and, and I know she probably always wondered where he was and how he was doing and stuff, so, um, just, just, um, you know, if you, if you, you know, my son was my brother, I've got a half-brother somewhere, I already, I already, I already, my, I mean, I already, my mother told me when I was young, that she had adopted out a baby. She told me and my brother she had never hide it from us. So, um, so I just want to let you guys know I'm sorry for the mess up in the video, but, and, you know, I'm showing some tears and stuff, but it would be nice to know. It would be, it would be really good, you know. And, uh, well, so I'll just let you all go, and I love you all, and you all have a good day, and this is a very serious video, but yes, I love you all, and you all have a good day, and I hope you're having a good day. Okay, bye.